Hey everybody, it's Ryan from Pi Records, and I'm here with the coolest of the cool, Dr. Triton. How are you guys doing? Hi, Ryan, thank you. We're right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm cool too. Thank you for being uh, being on the show. Uh, I've been listening to your records, actually on on iTunes, and uh, I really love it. Uh, I, I love the tremola picking with the soft sound yet. Um, <laughs> before we go any further, though, I'd like you to introduce yourselves and what instruments you play. Okay, uh, I'm Carmen. I'm the lead guitar of the of the band, uh, and all all the 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 easy jokes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Puyol, and I'm the bass player. Awesome. Um, you guys are the first surf band that I had on that had masks, and I'm looking to get some more. Oh, because they're super yeah. super yeah, cool. Nice, for those for those people who aren't watching, who are just listening, they have the great wrestling yeah. masks, and uh, <laughs> and, and they're all smiling, which is so weird. it's so cool because you don't usually, usually see them like really angry with the, when they got the masks on. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 So um, tell me a little bit about, first, I, 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 your stage show, when you play, it's got to be really intense, a lot of energy. Um, you, you're, you're wearing the wrestling masks. I, I mean, that's, that's symbolic of the energy, I would say, right? Yeah, we try to. Um, we always, uh, I always thought that surf music, it's... Uh, almost all the time instrumental and people are always looking like the human element to connect with the artist that is uh, on stage so most of the times when when you see a band that element is the lyrics of the songs so we don't have lyrics we don't sing so we have to look at this visual element to connect with people and we we think that mask work um, great for for that uh, thing Awesome. So and, and it, it's a it's a kind of uniform too, you know. M maybe uh, some bands uh, uses uh, suits, suits. Yeah. And in, in in our particular case, we we use the mask for for uniformos. Awesome. So what when did you start the band and what got you into surf music? I know Mexico has a lot of surf music and being from Mexico city, um, there's a huge scene there and there's, there's a lot of respect and reverence for surf music. What guys, what guys got you in, into it? Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what got me into, I got into surf music when I was like uh, 16. I was a teenager. I was like uh, finding out the things I like, like most of us do. Now, trying uh, listening to new music, things that I, 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 and I, I've always knew about surf music because of the classics, you know, like the the, the ventures, the shadows, and Dick Dale, of course, thanks to Pulp Fiction, and the Tarantino uh, mm -hmm. soundtracks. But I never really got into uh, exploring more about surf music and when I was like uh, 16 I was in like high school um, a friend of mine um, he lent me some burnt CDs like a mixtape yeah and, and <laughs> but in the list in CD <laughs> of um, uh, different bands like Los Estrella Jackets uh, Aqua Velvets um, what else was there I lost Acapulco, uh, a, lo a lot of bands, a lot of um, venture live tracks, and a lot of, of tracks that I still don't know who they are. But that that thing was, I, I, I heard that that CD and I was like, oh, wow, this, this is awesome, this is great. The, 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 the guitar playing, the bass playing, the, the drums, this, 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 everything is awesome. 
And then I started um, learning more and, and finding out like new bands and, and getting into the music. And it was really, really cool because at that time it was when the surf music scene in Mexico was really big. You know, the, the, there was this, uh, a lot of bands like Los Acapulco, Señor Bikini, um, Spectroplasma, Twin Tons. Uh, Twin Tons, a lot of bands. A lot of and it was right because there were uh, surf um, shows like every weekend. So it was awesome. And, and there was this big um, festival on this on the main square of Mexico City with Los Estrellas Jackets, a lot of bands, a lot of Mexican bands. And it was like the, the greatest thing ever for a surf uh, music fan in Mexico. And for kids, and you know, we were kids. Awesome. Um, how about you? Uh, what got you into surf music? Uh, being from being the guitar player, um, I'm sure you have a lot of a lot of guitar influences to play surf music. Yes, yes. Uh, like we all said, I, I like uh, a lot of bands. So I, I'm started with Mexican bands, you know, like Los Acapulco. And then with the internet connection, I know a lot of, of other bands, like the Tormentos from Argentina, do you know? Or no, yeah, no, the Tormentos, no. the Beach Breakers. No, you, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, Los Twang Marvels from Germany, I think. Messer Chups. There's a lot of, of great guitarists that, that I like. And I'm, I'm fascinating when, when I, I can listen it. Now you have you have a big festival in in uh, Mexico City. Is that correct? Yeah. Tell yeah, me a little bit. About, about, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, and you're talking about Wild of Fest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that was. Well, it's we are very lucky to have that kind of festival here in in Mexico City because surf in garage which is like the main two genres that get played, bands that play on the, on the festival, are not really that popular, I think. I mean, it, it's kind of weird that we have uh, uh, such a big festival when, with uh, great bands, international bands, like, uh, I mean, the Mummies. I think the Mummies didn't play. Oh, yeah. The Bomboras. Or, or the Bomboras, the Bomboras yeah. They, had, they, they haven't played for like 20 years. Yeah. And more they, or less. They, they reunited for, for a yeah. show in Mexico City. And that was, that, was, that was super weird, but super awesome. And we were lucky enough to be to play, what year was it? 2018? 18, yeah. The, the, and the third edition, I think. Yeah. And, and it was like a dream come true. Because uh, uh, Carmen, uh, his one of his favorite bands are uh, Los Tormentos and um, the Beach Breakers, <laughs> and we were lucky enough to to uh, share the stage with the guitar player from uh, from Los Tormentos. Awesome, awesome! Yeah, it was a great experience to meet so, the, like your heroes. Yeah, yeah, I I totally get it. Um... What, um, what, what, how many albums do you have out? I know I've, I've got about three. Um, so yeah, it, run through your discography for me. We have two, uh, professional albums, maybe, Pujol, and yeah. one, one them, them are record, but, uh, I don't like. So to talk about the first, <laughs> it's a uh, home, home quality, I, I denominate it. But uh, uh, 12 bombs uh, sounds good. The, the last two, uh, it's a Surfing Contest and Sweet Poseidon. And a few singles. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. A few covers, like a, a Christmas song, uh, a Halloween song. Halloween song, yeah. Yeah. Do you guys do you guys like to explore the the horror aspect of of the sounds that you make? 
Yeah, I, I like a lot of, of horror surf, uh, like the ghastly ones, uh, maybe a little bit with Satan's Pilgrims. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what other. Mr. Uh, Chops are kind of. Like, ah, yeah. You know, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little spooky, but, yeah. but uh, it's it, it's it's fun for us to to record a, a Halloween team in, in that atmosphere. Very cool, very cool. So, what are you guys working on right now? Are are you are you trading demos? Are are you writing? Are you um are they are they opening up so that you can play shows? Yeah, we're mostly waiting for exactly for that for for the the um, pandemic thing to to start to um, places to open Play up again and we can because we haven't been able to um, do a proper presentation of our latest album i mean we did like a online show like a year ago yeah in august last year yeah but we ha we haven't been able to to play those songs with a real audi audience in a in a venue on a physical uh, show, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I, I mean, to throw a party. Well, that's what we want. Yeah, yeah. And and, and in in this moment, uh, I I have a a few uh, records of of ideas, but I I I don't uh, share with with the band yet. Uh, we 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 are a, a little bit busy busy with busy. the COVID situation in our families in different oh, times okay. uh, of the of the start of the year, and I I think uh, that's not a, a good moment for for write music you, you know, but now maybe if if we all like. I share with with him my ideas. <laughs> that, well, that's that's like the next step. No, we yeah, haven't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we haven't rehearsed really, and we, we haven't played like new songs in a long time. And that's like a, as a musician, that's what comes naturally. Yeah. So, in, in at some point, we're going to start to write new songs. So I have a question for you, and it goes back to your masks. Is there a story behind each of your masks? Uh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> in, in my particular case, uh, my mask have a, a, a what, what's the word? Uh, um, part, uh, like the horns? Yeah, but what's the word? Uh, ciertas well, partes? Some details. Some details, yeah. <laughs> Some yes. details from a Mexican wrestler mask. You know, uh, yeah. I, I don't know if you, if you if you meet uh, Ultimo Dragon. It's a, a wrestling. It's it's a wrestler from WWE uh, a few years ago, and and have this thing in in their mask, uh, and detail of the other Mexican mask called Ultimo Guerrero, and. Obviously, if, if we are Dr. Triton at Trident here, but it's not a particular history from my mask. It's only a details of other masks that, that like me. And oh. Pujol, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, well we, I, I have to follow the, the, the aquatic theme of the band and of our, our, how we look. So I choose like a, an octopus. I don't know if it resembles yeah. like these things they kind yeah. of resemble like an octopus legs yeah because the octopus are are my favorite animal and i think that it was it fit with the theme of the band like the water octopus yeah and my mask and yeah. maybe a little of toy, toy story colors a little <laughs> bit of <laughs> was like year <laughs> was like year touch <laughs> so what's next for you guys do you uh what do you have uh, on the horizon that you're kind of you're kind of looking forward to? I don't know. Maybe start working in a new themes. 
a new songs with uh, an, another uh, atmosphere, maybe. And uh, we want to, to touring maybe next year in, in other countries to uh, uh, present our material from for, for other countries, maybe if, if, if the things go all right for us in Surforama, you know, in Spain, or uh, in, indeed in, I don't know uh, in, in which city is the Tiki Oasis. Okay. You know, uh, yeah. uh, some of festivals in other countries, I, I, I want to, to try to, to, to travel and after this pandemic situation, maybe, maybe it's possible. I don't know. I, I, I think. Awesome. Awesome. So if people want to get a hold of you, they want to get copies of your CD or vinyl or your album. How, how do they do that? Well, they, they can contact us over um, our social network. We have a, a website. Yeah. That's D R T R I T O N. Dot com. Dr. Triton. <laughs> Dr. Triton. But there surely will be a link someplace. But they can contact us over on Facebook and um, Twitter. Instagram. Or Instagram. I think Instagram is like the most popular. And, and yeah, it's, it's a kind of most uh, contact direct for. for us and the people. Yeah, it's the thing that, that works the best right now, I think. And they can contact us over, over Instagram, no matter where in the world they are. We can send them uh, a CD. Uh, we, we don't, I don't know if we still have like merch, like uh, t-shirts. Maybe t-shirts, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe. If, they, if they want a t-shirt, they can ask and yeah, they can yeah. arrange yeah, yeah, yeah. something. Yeah. So over Instagram, over Facebook, Twitter, if, if being in, like that. being in Central America, have you ever had the opportunity to travel to to places like Brazil and Argentina, where there's also surf scenes? Did you ever have an opportunity to travel down there? No, not not yet. We we went to Colombia, yeah, which is like uh, twenty six. 2016, we, we went to, to Bogota, the capital of Colombia. But funnily enough, they don't have like a surf, surf like scene, a surf, surf uh, scene, yeah. scene over there. They they like like really heavy music. They're really into metal, garage, um, that, that kind of stuff. And psycho wheel. Oh yeah, like heavy heavier genres. But I think the, we did really well over there. I think people uh, enjoyed our music. They didn't really know what surf or our music was about. <laughs> Even like, like the radio DJs didn't know what our music was, what, like what's going on, but they were really happy when we played. And they, I think we, we were, it was a, an interesting experience for us to play in a place where there were no surf music. So, but, but, so you got a positive experience out of it and you kind of introduced surf, surf in Colombia. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's the, the idea, but uh, we don't come back to Colombia since that occasion. So maybe for other years, we can try to, Come back and and what's the what's the word? We all expandir la palabra, <laughs> expand the word, spread the word. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. So, so is there anything else you guys like to talk about? Um, that maybe is on your mind. You want to announce? Maybe something I missed? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, Pujol. Uh, let me think. Well, of course, you, the people who are watching this, they can check our, our YouTube channel if you want to, to, to see more of us, as, uh, listen more of our music. Also, uh, you can find our, our music in all the 
streaming platforms, you know, and wherever you can listen to music, you can listen it, to Dr. Trita music. Yeah, and, and if you want to, to ask for, for our series in the digital networks, this Very is cool. the, the last album. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I think it's it's no more. Uh, maybe uh, stay stay in, in contact for future online shows. Maybe I, I there is not closed things now, but maybe in in some months. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, so it soon. We're hoping that with the vaccination thing over here. Uh, people, uh, the places, the venues start to open and it's possible for us to do a show. So we're, we're waiting on that. Yeah. Or maybe be, we, we could uh, make a, a more quarantine video in, in a screen with, with other bands. I, I don't know the, the vibe. Like a, a split screen. Split screen. Yeah, that, oh, yeah. That's something we did. When this thing started, and I think a lot of other musicians and, and artists did, like these uh, quarantine uh, sessions or videos where yeah. every single member of the band recorded themselves at their houses because you couldn't go out, and then like putting it together. It, it was fun. It, I think it, it it was fun to do that. And maybe I, I like um, some videos. I like those yeah. videos. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we made a, a, a Take On Me version with a, a Tiki Phantoms guitarist. Oh, yeah. And we are in, in talk with a masked guitarist you, you maybe know of a band of the United <laughs> States. But ah. I, don't, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if, if he can send us a, a video, but... We are in talk with him, and maybe you can stay connected in, in our where social maybe, networks for that. Maybe from uh, California. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Maybe dude. an in, in yeah, maybe in in Spanish. His his name is Daniel. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he lives here. What? Well, in 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 Acapulco, but they are there. <laughs> I I hear one last thing before we go. I hear wonderful things. There's a band called the Neptunas, and they got to play with Lost Street Jackets in Mexico City. What what makes that city so grand? I I, I know I've always wanted to meet the, to to meet people from. Mexico City, just because of the architecture, I find stunning. Um, what is it about the city that you love so much? Uh, well, this this city is is a monster. It's you know, chaotic it, and, and lovely at the same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's it has everything. Everything you you could imagine. Everything you need. You find it here. Everything you you don't think you need you find it here at, at any time no. <laughs> unlike some some other cities that uh, if you go like at 12 uh, 1 a.m 2 a.m in here you can find places open those times and um, i don't know I, I mean everything is chaotic everything is big everything is, is so fast you know, you can you can you cannot go slow in the city because it, it will swallow you. Well, the uh, transit it's not fast at all. <laughs> no, but the rhythm of the city. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I don't know. It's a very charming place, even with all the uh, its defects and its flaws. Uh, but I think it's a really wonderful place to visit. Not so much for living, but. <laughs> 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 if you could visit Mexico City, uh, a lot of people find it um, charming. That, uh, a lot of people have told me that this is their favorite city in the world. Yeah, it's, so, it's a place. If you come to Mexico, 
you you need to visit the Mexico City. Awesome. I, yeah. I, I, I you will always have something to do. There is not bad at, at the news say. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for talking to me and uh, going anonymous. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I appreciate I appreciate your time. I love your music, and uh, send some tracks over. We'll put you on Pure Idiot Radio. Sure, thank you, thank you very much. We will we will send you our music for people to to listen to it. Yeah, awesome. for sure. You guys have a great night. Same to you, Ryan. Thanks a lot for the space and the invitation. Thank you, and thank you very much. Maybe well, I hope. To, to see you, you soon in in presence, <laughs> yeah. physically. You gotta come to Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Philly, Philly. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, you guys know Philly down there. <laughs> <laughs> we have a bad we reputation. Cross the border. We have a bad reputation. <laughs> ah, ah. I, I don't think more. Than, than Mexico City, maybe. Uh, you know, the, the, the bad news, it's always. Um, ¿Cómo se dice, Puyol? <laughs> ¿Qué cosa? <laughs> ¿Exageradas? Yeah, it's, it's over. Oversized. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's blown yeah, out of proportion. Bad news. Yeah. Yeah, it's blown out of proportion. Yeah. All the time. Awesome. Yeah, I, I, I get that. Well, thank you yeah. so much, guys. And uh, I can't wait to maybe see you in the States. I would love to see you guys on a festival or, or in Philadelphia. If I have to come to Mexico City, I'll come to Mexico City. Okay, that's what's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. awesome. It's, it's a place that's on my bucket list that I definitely want to visit. Nice. Nice. Please do. Awesome, guys. Have a great night. Same to you. Thank you. Thank you.